Now, accountability lab Nigeria has raised concerns about the direct labor of some ministers in Nikita's state, arguing it contradicts global standards of transparency and accountability. The group called for government commitment to champion accountability and gender inclusivity uh, through our open contracting and e-procurement uh, practices advocating for legislative and policy reforms. Alfred Agu, an expert in the organization's monitoring, evaluation and learning associates department, suggested minimizing direct labor by implementing procurement thresholds in line with Ecuador State's public procurement law. Okay, so we found out that a lot of challenges um, in the engagement we had with um, the officials from the Bureau of Public Procurement and then CSOs. Some of the challenges are limited public engagement and awareness about procurement processes. Also, um, there have not been any engagement when it comes to um, using the e-procurement um, platform. Um, we found out that there's regulative um, gaps. We also found out that there are so much interferences from either heads of institutions or politicians. And the recommendations that were given was reduction on the reliance of direct labor in procurement from head of institutions because this goes against the global, uh, it, it contradicts the global standards for procurement. A government that has signed up for an open process should be made to uh, be committed to openness and uh, ensuring that accountability is, is, is very critical, that they are accountable to citizens. Every government in place are elected by the people and they must work for the people. These are also the challenge us, especially as we to improve on, uh, the data that uh, are being made public so that information will uh, be properly uh, useful to those that want to access the data and also the citizens will be able to use the data to uh, engage the government and also hold them accountable. So um, the stakeholder engagement actually helped to look at grey areas and also uh, look at gaps that are available uh, on the data and also we have looked at the possibility of improving. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.